Hey everybody, thank you once again for checking out One Shot, One Kill. We are at Shot Show 2020. We are here at the HK booth with Derek Gidding. Good to see you. Pleasure to meet you, Welcome sir. Welcome to the booth. Thank you very much. What do you got here for us, man? VP9 updates? All right, VP9 2020 update. So, new for 2020, all VP9s are going to come pre-cut to mount your optic plate for your favorite red dot sight. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna be standard. That's gonna be on all the VP9s that are coming in starting right now, shipping to the uh, distributors. Also, we've changed the sights on the VP9s. We've got a new blacked out rear sight, the high visibility front sight. I'm gonna give you a little bit of tidbit of information for your yeah. channel that probably nobody else has heard yet. So you ready for this? All right. For sighting options, we're also fully aware that if somebody's not going to run a red dot on this site, people are going to change sights out. Mm. This is a new dovetail. It's not an all-new dovetail, but this is the P2000, the P2000 okay. dovetail for your viewers. So if they P2000. want to change sights, the HK45 P-Series VP9 existing sights will not fit this new dovetail to accommodate the plate. Okay. Okay? All right. Everything else is the same on the gun. The same great trigger that everybody likes, the same paddle release that everybody likes, but we've got something new. The magazines are now... 17! So, 17. we've taken the same magazine body, we've cut two holes in it. Yep. No, I'm just kidding. We did cut two new holes in it. Looks good. It says 17, but we've changed the follower, yep. the spring, the plate, and the base pad, and now we can fit 17 rounds reliably in the same 15 round mag body. Perfect. So the big question everybody has there is, will my existing mags fit? The answer is yes, all existing mags fit. This is the same mag body, it just fits, holds 17 rounds. That's so existing magazines, there's questions. no changes, everything fits. Awesome, okay? great. Um, other than that, it's the same great gun, but now if you want to put a uh, red dot sight on it, you're ready to roll. Oh, that's awesome, man. There's five different five different plates to go on the on the firearm. Okay. When you buy the gun, you'll go to the HK website yep. and buy the appropriate plate for the red dot sight that you want to mount. That way we keep the cost down and we don't give you four plates you're not gonna use. You're oh. gonna put your appropriate plate yep. on the gun and you're ready to roll. Perfect, awesome. Any questions on this or are you an expert now? No, not an expert yet. Yeah. I mean, look at who I'm talking to, ah. come on guy. <laughs> So, so that's the um, VP9 2020 update. Fantastic update. Still comes standard with all the uh, interchangeable back straps and everything, everything side panels. Yeah, all that stayed the still same. The same. Uh, available in the uh, B model. Uh, these are only coming in now with the paddle mag release. Uh, right now only in the paddle magazine release. Correct. Okay, fantastic. And one key feature that he mentioned right there was that the 15 round magazines are still compatible with the new 2020 VP9 update. So, and all VP series firearms. And all VP series firearms. Fantastic, man. Color options as of right now? Um, the guns are coming in in black is all I know for right now. Okay. And I'm going to assume there's going to be color options uh, in the future. First priority is get all these guns coming in uh, ASAP so people can put their red dot sights on. Fantastic. Any information on uh, uh, holster that it might come with, uh, contract with a holster company, anything? Yeah, so there, there's a lot of holsters that are out there already that are pre-cut be optic uh, accommodating, optic ready, if you will. There's some that are cut higher that obviously if you mount a red dot are not gonna work. Correct. So the important thing is just to, if, you're, if your VP9 holster sits kinda high, it's not gonna work if you put a red dot on it. But there's gonna be all kinds of very uh, distinguishable holsters and I imagine yeah. existing manufacturers will start to change their, their marketing to make you fully aware that those existing holsters will accommodate the dot. Absolutely. Right what else, Juan? Thank you. Uh, compatibility with the long slide kit. Um, yeah, so the so the VP9, the actual firearm, their lower will still accept the VP9 long slide kit, no Perfect. problem, no changes there. Perfect. I and the other thing for 2020 is the HK SP5. The SP5. That's Do your right. viewers know about the SP5? Oh, they know about the SP5. All right, so be sure to check that out, folks. Where is it? Back Where on that it? wall, Juan. Where is it? Right back there, under new product. I think I'm picking we, up a should we go, here. Should we go check that out? I say let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, Juan, this is again the pistol as it ships. Yep. 
It's got the uh, basically the, the, the back plate that you're going to take off to put your brace on, or when you form one, it, you'll put your stock on. Yep. Okay, accepts all the HK stock. It's going to fit, and the pins will pop right in very nice and smooth. Perfect. Want to point out the fully ambidextrous trigger pack. So we love right and left handed shooters equally. Perfect. If you'll notice, this is called an ESSL, or an Extended Safety Selector Lever. Well, I like to kind of say it's short and long finger friendly because one of the big complaints on the smaller selector levers is some people that aren't as talented and gifted as me with a big long thumb, <laughs> they couldn't reach it. So we solved that problem to make everybody happy so there'd be no complaints, yep. and we put the best of the best. This is typically an expensive upgrade on a military MP5, and we just threw it in there. We've also got what everybody wants, is the nice paddle mag release Correct. from the back. Yep. 30 years ago, HK94 didn't even have those. Yep. Now you have it, right there. Everything else, standard MP5, beautiful fit and finish all the way through. But, you know, for years we always heard that we'd never see a real German MP5 barrel <laughs> again. Well, here it Free is. Look. Right, this is typically referred to as the MP5 Navy barrel because it's not only a three lug barrel, but it's also a threaded barrel. Oh. So it's a threaded three lug barrel. Awesome. We've also done this in the half by 28 popular thread pitch, so it Perfect. accepts all the popular U.S. Yeah. suppressors. Absolutely. Okay, so that's thick, solved, and easy to go. It's not yeah. the half by 32 that was a military thread. Yep. Okay? Half by 28, guys. Half by 28 <laughs> thread pitch, and again, the three lug attachment is beautiful for all the uh, suppressors that can attach that way or muzzle devices Absolutely. that do that too. The SP5 also ships with the upgraded, what's known as the MP5F. This is a semi-auto MP5F bolt carrier group. So it's got all the latest and greatest upgrades that came from that military or that French police contract. You've got a really heavy duty bolt carrier group that was designed around a very powerful ammunition. So you're getting the best of the best from HK's engineers. There's no compromise. This is no civilian version. This is the real deal, folks. So. Awesome. Head on down to your local dealer, your local gun store. Be sure to check out the fit and finish of the SP5. Buy it, we like to say, stamp it, and then put a stock on it, yep. and you'll have your own MP5. Absolutely. Two simple steps. Get your hands on it, stamp it. That's MSRP. exactly right. MSRP is $27.99. $27.99 MSRP. Shipping now, they're out there, yep. and there's a lot more coming. Absolutely. So buy two. Fantastic. What else can I answer for you, Juan? I think that's about it, Derek. Thank you so much for your time. Really, really You're a great man. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.